Well guys, I am back up and I am back walking around. Um, okay, so this project here, I really didn't get to start. I really didn't get to work on it at all. I didn't get to do anything with this whole project. The whole main reason why is um, as soon as I was picking up the lumber, I had some people that were coming here, some people from the church and stuff. And when I started showing up here, um, I ended up, my back went out and I ended up having to go to a chiropractor. Then I ended up in the hospital and you guys saw the videos there where I was actually um, in there. I've had surgery, fused a bunch of uh, vertebrae and stuff all together, did all that work on my back. I cannot still do anything. I'm on a restriction of two weeks that I cannot lift over like five to eight pounds. Um... While I was gone, there was a main guy that, a friend of mine that I've known Bill with and stuff, he has a construction company and he was over here and he was helping me with this. And there were some other people that showed up. I didn't know. One guy was a real good guy. The other guy, I don't think he's a very good worker. I don't think he was a very good construction person. And he was doing some things wrong. He was making people upset and stuff. And the guy that a friend of mine I don't know how to word this right but the friend of mine that was supposed to go was supposed to be in charge of this that I put in charge he had a job that he had to go downstate to do on the Tuesday last week and he had this side all done sheeted and he had it um, tar papered and he said just leave it like that because he has to line the, the ch chimney he has to do all the stuff there's a lot of things that has to be done. And this guy decided he was just going to go ahead and shingle it. Well, he went ahead and shingled it. And this is probably one of the worst shingle jobs I've ever seen in my entire life. I have no idea what all this is. Um, it's horrible. It's got leaks inside the house. It's wrecked drywall inside the house. That valley there, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I really don't but it's it's really messed up and so this has to be all ripped off again all this money I was spent on this and everything else this is all junk um, it all has to go away so it all has to be taken off this has to be redone again and then I'll show you in the back one so back here this has all been this guy that was working for me his name is Sean and he put all this up to protect all this. He's put up this fake wall back here. And, you know, he's concreted it and set it all down in there and blah, 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 and everything. He's made a whole new wall. And this is going to work great. And then he's went up inside here and he's made basically trusses all up inside here to make it a one slope deal so that the snow will be easier to get off. Okay? So everything's all good there. This wall is completely junk. I've showed it in videos before. This wall is not even more saving. So that's why we did all this. So this is all done. This is good to go. Now, here's the problem. The other guy was supposed to tarp this. He came up and tarped it. And he ended up over here on this side not tarping it all the way there's tons of tarping down here in the ground could have cut this could have went up there attached it to it hung something down over but he didn't all the water went in we had days of rain and all the water went into there and went into the house and this whole closet the whole roof and everything is all falling through it's it's all been it's all been it's messed up it's, it's just a big huge problem so Sean, my friend, he is out and about. He is um, actually bidding on some jobs up here and he's going to be doing that and he will be here the, today. The main goal of it now is I have two weeks that I can't do anything. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to try to get this finished over here, more bracing, get the sheeting up there, get that all taken care of. And then we can, um, and then we can shingle this over here. 
I'm gonna talk to Sean about it. I'm not sure about the shingles that I'm using. I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of them. Kind of wondering maybe we change some, some different shingles. I don't know, because I have to get new shingles anyways because I have to tear those other ones off the other side and throw them away. It's, it's a big headache, you know? You know, it's, I, I don't know how to, you know, you don't want to say anything bad about somebody and stuff, but if you don't know how to do the job, don't make it worse. You know, I have a lot of things going on right now and, and a lot of pain and everything else. I can't tackle all this stuff. And now basically it just cost me thousands of dollars extra and I can't even do it, you know. So now I gotta pay somebody else to do it and that's gonna cost me thousands of dollars. You know, if you're not able to complete a job, I mean, that shingling job, that, that was some of the poorest shingle I've ever seen in my entire life. So, you're not able to do it then to say I'm not able to do it you know the best option would have been is to get some more tarps and just cover everything with tarps and just tarped off the house and wait for Sean to get back here and get his jobs done but it wasn't done so it is what it is we have to move on from there but um, I have a problem with my f-350 and I have uh, I put all new bearings, I put all new brake calipers and brakes and everything. And I went and drove it and I filled it with a lot of shingles to take to the dump. And I drove it a couple times and one of the times I saw smoke coming out of one in the rear end. So I'm not sure if it's a bearing, if it's a caliper that's, you know, they're brand new, everything's brand new. And I, so I needed to tear that back apart. So I have brought some young men over here. They're going to help me. They've never done any kind of thing like this. So we're gonna just tear that hub back apart and look inside here and see if we can figure out what the problem is, what's what's happening here. So this is what it is. And I will bring you guys along on this journey and we'll see what we can do to fix this and do this repair and make this all work again. Not fun, it's just not fun. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night. So they watch this your video. And if you're not, then you can certainly try that all over again tomorrow. Um, me personally, myself, I'm up and I'm walking. I am uh, taking it very easy. Um, I have a, I believe it's an eight pound weight restriction I can pick up. I'm not even picking up that. Um, two weeks of intense pain. I have two weeks, I have intense pain. A lot of intense pain going on. Um, so basically, I'm just taking all the drugs that they've recommended. I really hate drugs. I hate oxycodone and um, the stuff, you know. I, I really hate that kind of type of stuff. Yeah, I hate how it makes me feel. But I can't take the pain. So I'm going to be just doing what the doctor says, going through it step by step. And... Um, and then uh, it'll be on for rehab and, and uh, working on from there and stuff. And we'll see how long this goes and, and see how this works out. Uh, doctor seems very positive, though. That's I will say that. I will catch you guys later. Bye.